hello welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about how to properly and safely thrift and goodwill shop so i was thinking i'm like oh i'm showing how i shop but i'm not letting you guys know the proper way to handle the things that you buy when you shop and what i mean by that is avoiding bringing home bed bugs pretty much the big thing is bed bugs spiders you know that's not really a big deal bed bugs a big deal so um when you buy your items at the goodwill particularly clothes linens comforters things of that nature what i do when i buy clothing from the goodwill is number one do not try the clothing on at the goodwill because if you try the dirty clothing on and uh, whatever you try on happens to have a piece of a bed bug on it and you try it on and take it off the bed bug might actually stick to your underclothes and then you bring the bed bugs home you do not want to do that so um what you want to do is when you buy all your items at the goodwill the goodwill is now bagless so you have to bring your own bags so what you want to do is buy uh bring you a big enough bag in that you can fit all your stuff in bring the bag home and what i do is, is i take the whole entire bag and i put it in my dryer put it in the dryer for about 10 minutes and that is assuring that you're going to kill the bed bugs or whatever bugs might be on the clothes definitely do that first and then after that i will if i'm not washing that day then i won't wash the clothes but after that i do wash them first before i wear them and the upside about Goodwill is with the um, the clothes you do buy, if you didn't try it on when you bought it and you need to return it, the barbs are washable. So even though you washed it, you can still return it back to the Goodwill if you cannot fit it after the fact. So that is the upside to that. And also um, another way to make sure you are disinfecting and um, being safe with the things you buy is with shoes you want to make sure with the shoes what i do when i buy shoes from the goodwill now if it's tennis shoes that i buy i typically will just throw the whole tennis shoe in the washing machine and do it that way but far as like boots and slides and sandals and stuff of that nature what i do is i'll get a lysol disinfectant wipe wipe the whole inside and outside of the shoe and then I also spray it with a uh, Lysol disinfectant spray as well. So um, that way you kill if somebody had athlete's feet, if they had a blister, whatever. Just make sure the shoe is sanitized and good to go. So um, another thing, which I, I don't believe in this, but some people do. Some people believe like if you buy, let's say I bought a vase from the Goodwill. Some people think that certain items can hold spirits and they don't like buying used items. But I don't believe in spirits being on items. But if you are one of those people that do, or if you are leery about that, you can pray over whatever it is that you're bringing into your house. If you think that it may be carrying a bad spirit or whatever, definitely pray over your stuff. Like I said, I don't believe in that, so I really don't care about praying over the things that I bring into my home because I believe my home is already blessed so whatever comes in it is gonna be blessed too so um that was just extra little something but um let me think what else um far as buying far as dishes and um cookware and stuff like that I do buy that from the Goodwill like the Goodwill you'll run into some like uh, cast iron skillets and pots and stuff that you normally wouldn't find in a store like I do buy that type of stuff at the Goodwill I don't have a problem with that and just like you would do with any other dish I bring it home and um, I do wash it with bleach water though to kill any germs bacteria whatever that the person may have left on the item but yeah I'm not opposed I do buy that as well I'm not I don't care about secondhand stuff like if it's something that I need and I can save money on buying it and I don't have to have a new, I will buy from Goodwill. So I hope these tips were um, helpful for you. And uh, yeah, just something to think about. And also with buying coats at the Goodwill as well, you want to wash your coats before you wear them. Now, um, I have bought some furs from the Goodwill. I did not wash the furs because I didn't want to mess them up. So... 
but I don't believe I had any bed bugs on them. Hopefully, I haven't seen any, but anyway. So be mindful with buying coats, but if you do get a coat that can be machine washed, definitely, like I said, put in the dryer and kill off all the bugs, bacteria, whatever, and then wash it after the fact. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to thumbs up, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video.